explain stokes and anti stokes lines when molecular sample is placed in an intense beam of monochromatic radiation it transmits the entire incident light in this case molecule gets excited and immediate return to ground state the returning molecule takes place with emission of light in all the direction this type of scattering of light is known as rayleigh scattering in 1923 smeckel theoretically predicted that if the substance in solid liquid or gaseous state is irradiated with monochromatic light the scattered light must contain radiation with the different frequencies than that of incident in 1928 sir c v raman found that the scattered light must contain some lines which have the frequency more than incident and some lines possess the frequency less than incident the lines which have frequency less than incident are called stokes lines and those which have more than incident are called anti stokes lines these stoke and anti stoke lines form raman spectra raman found that if new i is the incident frequency and new s is that of the scattered then raman frequency or raman shift is delta nu which is equals to nu i minus nu s delta nu is positive means nu i is greater than nu s hence stoke lines are formed and if delta nu is negative means nu i is less than nu s hence anti stoke lines are formed so in the given graph if we are using a laser light of wavelength 785 nanometer then whatever peaks are coming at exactly 785 nanometer they are rayleigh scatterings but the peaks coming above 785 nanometers shown here in blue lines will be stoke lines and the peaks coming below 785 nanometer shown here in the green color will be anti stoke lines and that's why sometimes raman spectra is also plotted against delta nu and not the wavelength and this delta nu is known as raman shift which is the shift from the laser frequency